Hey guys, how you doing? I uh, hope school's been good today. Um, we've got another session planned for you. A big one from my perspective. Again, hit session. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Candy's going to get you started with some ability and abs. I heard last night the talk was really good. Glad to hear it. Sorry I missed it. But uh, yeah, if you guys want, you can give us some feedback on that, that would also be really good. So over to Candy to get you guys started. All right, everyone, come and stand on the back of your mat. Feet hip width apart. We're starting with our nice warm up again. So breathing in and exhale, slowly rolling down. Breathing in and then back up again. Inhale and rolling down. Inhale and back up. Good. On your next one, we're going to roll down, place our hands flat on the ground, bend your legs as much as you need to do that. And on your exhale, try to straighten through those legs. Lift your hips up, nice hamstring stretch. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch. Inhale, bend. And last one, exhale, stretch. And then walk along the ground. We're going to hold our plank for our 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And drive those hips straight up and into your downward dog. Open up through that chest and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to our plank and then onto our hands and knees and into our cat stretches. Rounding up and then back the other way. Again, go with your own breath pattern. Trying to get as much movement throughout the spine as you can. And the last one here. Good, we're going into our thread the needle. So inhale, reaching one hand up. And exhale, thread all the way through. Changing sides. Inhale up. Exhale, threading through. Good, alternating as we go. One more each side. Good, and then release it from there. Okay, coming back to the center, we're gonna curl the toes under and we're gonna go straight into lifting our knees off the mat. So press through your fingertips, lift your knees off the mat and hold that there. Hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. And again, and lifting up, pull the belly button right up and tight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. And one more time here. And up you come. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. And then from here, we're going into our bird dog. So opposite arm to opposite leg. Stretch them away. Coming back and changing sides. Now, this might seem like an easy exercise, but it can be quite difficult to switch from one side to the other without feeling like you um, shift and without leaning into that knee that you've left on the ground. Keep your shoulders nice and engaged. You don't want to sink into that shoulder, so lift right up and out of it. Good, and on this next one, lengthen and hold for me. 
Lengthen and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down you go, and into the other side, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest from there. Good. Come around and line your back. Straighten through your legs, and we're going into some roll-ups from here. Inhale. And exhale, rolling up. Stretching right past those toes. Head coming towards your knees. And slowly back. Remember to control that movement. Halfway there. Two more for me. And your last one. Good, and resting. Good, now that I've migrated right off my mat, let me come on back. From there, we're going to bend through our legs. Hands by our sides, nice and easy today. So up with our tabletop. So keep your hips nice and steady. Keep them in a neutral pelvis. And one leg to tabletop, other leg to tabletop. Hold it there and tap one foot down. Bring it straight back. Two, three. Keep alternating sides. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Back to the top, hold that there. Now you straighten one leg to 45. Straighten it, bring it back. Change. And this is my fifth one. And six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Good. Come on back. Resting through your legs. Give yourself a moment. Hands behind your head. We're going to a nice simple crunch. So interlock your fingers, support the base of your skull. Exhale and just up into a nice crunch. Inhale down, two, three, four. It's really hard to do this without pulling on your neck. So every so often you might need to correct yourself to make sure you're not just lifting up from your neck. To seven, eight, nine and your last one ten good from there give yourself a second bring your hands out and down by your sides from there we're going to wiggle like a worm so you're going to lift your chest up reach your fingers towards your toes and now you're going to rotate and just laterally flex to so try and touch one heel come back and over to the other side two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to center. Give yourself a second. We're doing it again. Exhale and up you go. Another ten. And ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Give yourself a moment. We're going to come back to tabletop. Hold that there, and now lift your chest. Lengthen your fingers by your sides. Same movement as before, but now just in a different position. So tap one foot down. 
bring it back, change sides, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, leave your legs in tabletop, Rest your head for a second, we're going into the single leg stretch, same position, inhale, and chest lift, and straight to one leg, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and a 1, good, and down you go, feet and head and rest. Roll over, lie on your tummy. From there, we're going into our swimming. We're going to work a little bit of our upper back. Stretch through your hands, arms nice and forward, legs out behind you, opposite arm to opposite leg. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. From there, bend through your elbows, stack your hands on top of each other, and glue them to your forehead. We're going into a little bit of a back extension. So, exhale and lift up. Up through your thoracic and back down. Keep your belly button tight. Two. Almost there. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and your last one, ten. Set. We're just going to finish off the way we started from plank and into our downward dog. So pull your toes under, push yourself up. Straight away, hold your plank for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and downward dog, and hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and walk your hands back to your feet. Slowly roll up. Breathing in there, and exhale, rolling down, and up we come, and let's do one more roll down, and then we're heading over to cleft, and down you go, and back up. Good, well done everyone, and we're going over to cleft now. Good job guys. Right, we're doing another hit session today. So get ready for them. It's the same as last week. We're doing push-ups, squats, and burpees. So the reason we do hit is it trains the energy systems required, or we can manipulate it to train the energy systems required for tennis. I, I find it difficult to find a place where you can see me, to have enough space to see me and this. So maybe actually that's the best one. Uh, go back a little bit. All right, I'll just leave it there for the first round and then I'll change it up. Right, so last week you should have your pen and paper with you again or a cell phone and just try and keep remember your scores from last week. Last week I did 55 push ups, 52 squats, and 42 burpees. So, my goal again is to try and stay pretty similar, maybe uh, go slightly better if not. Just means I might be a little bit tired, okay? All right, so everyone ready? We're gonna start with the push ups. Can't keep past my phone there, sorry. Right, let me just set up the tempo, the timer, sorry. All right, so starting in 10 seconds with the push ups. Right, we're going to go 35 seconds, as many push-ups as we can. Three, two, one, and go. Remember, no butt sinking, 
and you keep so stay try and stay in that plank position. Chest down to the floor. Keep your eyes slightly in front of your hands. Keep going. You don't have to go too fast because you've got to last three rounds of this. Try and keep your score even throughout. Breathe on the way up. In and out. Three seconds. Good work. Right. So come, write your scores down. Okay, I got 18 that round. And 15 seconds rest. And we're going into squats. 35 seconds. Here we go. And down. One. Two. Try and get your knees parallel to the floor. Three. Four. You can have your hands wherever you like. Some people like to do this in their squat. Just there is fine. Keep breathing again. Out the way up. In and out. Remember, knees, hip, and feet all in line. And keep going. Back straight. One more. Good work. 15 seconds. Write your score down. All right. 16 for me there. And now we're into the burpees. All right. Here we go. And up. Let's go. Push them. Keep breathing. Try and keep that heart rate down. Keep going. Not long to go. And get a short break. Good work. All right. Write your scores down. 13. Okay. Grab a drink. You've got about a minute's rest. Like I said, we're trying to now keep the scores even throughout. If you go slightly higher, it's not a problem. If you jump up way too much, you know, next time you can push a little bit harder in that first round. All right. Another big aspect to the hit exercise or hit workout is that it's very good mentally because it is quite tough. It challenges your heart, your cardio system, and your strength. So you have to sometimes just knuckle down and get through them. All right. Okay, starting with the push-ups. Ready. And here we go. Remember, pace yourself. Chest down to the floor. Just before you hit the floor, come up. If you need to, you can go on your knees. And breathe. Help you keep that heart rate down. Keep going, at your own pace. Don't let your elbows flare out to the side. Try and keep them tucked in next to your body. Good work. Quickly write your score down, try and win that break. Breathe and get your heart rate down. Okay, I got 19 that round. You get ready for the squats. Here we are, and squat. Thumb down to the floor, chest up. We don't want to see that. That's not a squat. Yep. Knees, feet, hip, all in line. Don't let that happen to you. Or that one. All right. In this good line. Keep that chest up. Thumb down to the floor. You don't have to go as low as you can. Just parallels good. Good. Take your time, try and get your breath back. And into the burpees. Slow that breathing down. Here we are. One. Keep pushing. 
This is when it's going to start to get tough, guys. And this is where the mental side comes into it. You've got to keep going. It should be starting to burn. And you should be starting to really want to breathe hard. In and out. Help you regulate that. Good work, right. Minutes break, so write your scores down. Right. I went up by one in each one there. Okay, so my score is pretty level. I'm quite happy with that. As you can see, I'm starting to feel it. So, grab a drink. And then in the rest. Can you hear me, Cliff? Turn and breathing. Can you hear me, Cliff? I can, Craig. Yeah, I was just saying there's a lot of puffing going on here behind me. Oh, good. That's good. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Five seconds to go. Into the push ups. All right, big mental effort this round. Here we go. And down. Elbows tucked in at the side of you. And breathe. In and out. In, out of the way up. Keep that body tight. As it starts to get tight, the bum's going to want to say. Come on, get one more in. Good work. Okay. Right, your scores down. Get ready for squats. Get the breathing back down. Here we go. In and out of the breathing. Really will help you control it, and you'll be able. To, you'll feel like you can do more. Yeah, it's gone. We're almost there. Like I say, here comes the mental effort, because you're going to want to slow down. You're going to want to stop. Keep pushing. Big part of tennis. You guys will know that. If you can give up here, when your opponent's being horrible to you, very easy to give up too. All right. I'm slightly down in push-ups and burpees. Uh, push-ups and squats. Let's get ready for the burpees. Last round. Come on, keep pushing. Here we go. And push. Keep going. We're almost there, guys. Here's the mental side coming in. When it starts to burn, breathe and push yourself. Get one more in. Come on. Good work. Well done, right? Write those scores down. Woo. Right. So last week, I got 55 push ups. This week, 39, 47, 53. So slightly down. Squats. 33, 33, 38, 48. And last week I had 52, so also slightly down. My burpees, 41. So maybe I'm getting a little bit tired. <laughs> All right. But just gives you guys an idea of where you are. After a certain period of time, we should definitely start to see these numbers go up consistently. All right. Okay, guys, have a drink. I'm going to hand back over to Candy for a good stretch. Okay, everyone, well done. Since you're standing, let's go into a quad stretch. So just bring the one leg behind you, pulling it back, and you want to feel through the thigh there. 
You'll be quite tired now, so just try to keep your breathing nice and steady. Big deep breaths in your nose and then out your mouth. Good, release it from there and then the other side. A few more moments here. Good, release up from there and then rest. From Come onto the ground for me. You're just going to do this one sitting. So you're going to bend through your legs, cross one ankle over one knee and you want to feel that bum stretch. So very much like the pretzel stretch but we're just on our we're just sitting for this one. So you should be feeling that hip stretching quite quite deep here. Good, releasing that side and then into the other side. Ankle over knee, and then opening up through that chest. Good. Release that one from there. Come onto your hands and knees. You're going to do the inner thigh stretch. So from there, just stick the one leg out to the side and then coming back, opening up through that inner thigh. Good, releasing that side and then into the other side. Stick your leg out and then just rock backwards, opening up through that inner thigh. Good, a few more moments here. Good, release it from there. And then last stretch, we're just going to do a quick little shoulder stretch. So just bring one arm across the other, uh, one arm across and then pull it in, stretching through the side. Good, releasing that, changing sides. Good, we're almost there. Good, and then relax from there. Well done, everyone. Good job. Well done, everybody, today. That was excellent. You all worked very hard. Thanks again to Cliff and Candy. They'll be back here at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Remember, on Sunday at 9.30, we have Emma and Darren back again to take you through a session. So have your therabands and a racket handy for that one. And then on Monday night, we have Cara Black. And I, you might have noticed in the chat, I just mentioned we've added another session. The registration's not open for that, but it looks at um, training overseas. So it, there's academies all over the world in every corner of the world. We've got the people from IMG in Branderton coming on, including the girl who won the Discovery Open Scholarship to um, IMG and also my daughter will talk about um, what a day in the life is like at the Bagheera Academy and also Ecker Elite which is the one Juan Carlos Ferreira runs in Valencia so uh, that's all to look forward to now you can go back to school and have a great day thanks Cliff thanks Candy bye see you guys bye, bye.